So this is going to be Wu Ji Qigong. It's been around for about 6,000 years. It is more of moving meditation and energy of Qi. So you're going to bring your feet together first, and you're going to have your hands below your belly button. Men are going to be right hand over left, women are left over right, the way the energy moves in the body. And we're going to start here. It's called your lower Dantian. We have three treasures. San Dantian up here in the middle, Ren 17 by your heart chakra, which is uh, Tsong Pong, and Sa Dantian, which is below the belly button. And you're going to take three breaths. And when you take your breaths, I want you to have your belly come out, breathing in like a balloon filling up. And when you breathe out, your belly button goes towards the spine. At the same time, I want you to see energy from your feet coming up to each point on each breath, just like this. I visualize like back at the carnival days when you had the hammer hitting it and that thing would go up and hit the bell. That's what I picture in my mind. And pictures is a really important way of moving the chi as well. Visualization is thoughts and pictures, so guided imagery helps move the, the energy through the channels. So we're gonna take our first breath, breath number one. Breath number two. And breath number three. Now you're gonna spread your feet about shoulder width apart. I want you to keep your knees soft, not locked, but not bent, but soft. And you're kind of falling into the hips. This is actually our natural way that a human being should have its posture. And you're gonna bring your arms to the side of you like this, like you're holding two big balloons or two watermelons or two beach balls. <laughs> just like this, and have your arms rounded. No clawing here, or tense fingers. Relaxed, loose, and limp, like a wet washcloth. And your shoulders relax. And at this time, I want you to have your eyes closed. The reason why I want your eyes closed is because I don't want the mind interfering to make sense of what you're doing. I tell everyone to not think about it, but feel about it. So with your eyes closed, I'll tell you when to open them. I want you to focus on your body completely. We want to be aware of everything that our body is doing and the information it's giving us. For example, make sure when your eyes are closed right now, you're not frowning your eyebrows, you're not frowning your forehead. Relax your forehead, relax your eyebrows, relax your cheeks, make sure you're not clenching your teeth, relax your neck. Relax your shoulders, let them fall. Relax your wrists and your elbows and your fingers. Relax your hips and your legs. Relax your knees, relax your ankles, relax your toes. Relax, relax, relax. Three affirmations we say is peaceful relax, because we want peace in our heart. Happy relax, because we're meant for happiness. And open relax, open to all possibilities Chi has in store for us. And as you relax your body more and more, the entire time we're in this posture, I want you to breathe in your nose and out your mouth. You're breathing in your nose and out your mouth. You breathe in your nose and out your mouth. I kind of visualize like the old laundry line. When you're pulling the string, the line goes on top of the wheel and then around and out the bottom. So I kind of think that way as the air is blowing through. So breathe in your nose again and out your mouth. And you're breathing that way the entire time we're doing this meditation. So now as you're breathing in, I want you to be sure that your belly is going out, like a balloon inhaling. When you breathe out, your belly is going in. Breathing in your nose, belly out. Breathing out, belly in. Very important. A lot of people do chest breathing and their shoulders go up. And you actually want the breath from the center, from your belly, because the oxygen flows more through the body, which gets to the bloodstream, and et cetera. And this kind of breathing and movement and posture 
keeps the body's oxygen levels higher. Illnesses and diseases cannot stay in a well-oxygenated body. So we do this to keep the oxygen levels nice and high. So breathing in your nose, out your mouth, belly out, belly in. Very nice. So continue that breathing in your nose, out your mouth, belly out, belly in. And we're gonna add a little movement. As you breathe in your nose and your belly goes out, I want you to sway back just a little bit. Very little bit. And when you breathe out and your belly in, sway forward a little bit, very slight. So your weight goes on your heels and you're breathing in, belly out. And when you're breathing out, belly in, lean a little more on your toes, the ball of the foot. Breathing in your nose, belly out, swaying back. Breathing out, belly in, swaying forward, just like that. We're going to do that for about a minute. Keep breathing in your nose and out your mouth. And you might feel some numbness on certain areas of your body, and that's okay. That's called stagnation of the chi. Stagnant chi comes to the surface, almost like pins and needles a little bit. I feel like numbness. Everyone feels it a little differently, and that is okay because things are coming up to the surface vibrationally. It's like an energy detox for sure, and we release all that. She can be manipulated, manifested, changed. It's really important to cultivate that energy and to change it because it can't be created or destroyed. It goes in and out of form because it always has been, always will be. We learned this in science class. Also, if you ever had past injuries, you might have those old ouchies come up. That is okay. But it's really important that you understand that you can change that chi. You can move the energy to that area and you'll actually find a difference. The body doesn't know the difference. The chi is very obedient. So as you're breathing in your nose, out your mouth, belly out, belly in, swaying back, swaying forth, I want you to visualize a gold string on the top of your spine pulling upward, opening up each vertebrae, having the space to open up in between. And I want you to visualize this red energy from Mother Earth coming up through your feet. See the red energy going through the feet, up the legs, past the knees, past your hips, into the center of your stomach. Energy is abundant. There's more than enough. It can never run out. So keep seeing all that red energy coming up from the Mother Earth, up through your legs, into the center of your stomach. It never stops. While at the same time, on the very top of your head, there's a tunnel that goes up to the clouds, into the heavens, taking the white energy, bringing it down through your head, past your nose, past your neck, through your chest, meeting the center of your stomach. So you have red coming up and white coming down. Abundantly, it never stops. And as the red and the white meet in the middle of your stomach, it creates the color pink. Pink is the color of healing and manifestation. See that energy building, however you visualize it, like swishing like water, pixie dust, fog, just light. It doesn't matter. Just visualize it and cultivate it and grow it more and more. And as the pink is growing stronger, with your mind, and your mind only as you're visualizing this with your eyes closed, bring it up into your shoulders, down your arms, filling up your hands. You might feel heat, tingling, pins and needles, electricity buds. Everyone feels something different. Just know that it validates that the energy is moving. Fill up your hands right to the fingertips. And now you can open your eyes and watch slowly. You're going to turn your hands down like this. I, I can't feel my hands. It's so cool. And you're going to slowly bring them up in front of you just like this. As high as you can, very slowly. And once you go over your head, see how loose my, my hands are very limp? You're going to turn them and bring them down to the sides. Ever so slowly, just like this. And it's got to be slow moving like you're in water. So. We don't want the muscles to be activated because that's forced. So you have to go slow, not fast. We don't want the muscles activated. True energy, highest level of energy, like love. Love is never forced. So it brings chaos. So we want to be slow and free moving and relaxed, not tense and fast and rushed. And this is the second time as we bring our arms down to the side. And we're going to do it for a total of three. And we're going to turn just like this. I breathe in, going up. 
all the way up to the top, and I slowly breathe out as I bring them to the sides. Very nice. And as you bring them down to the bottom, as you're watching here, slowly bring your hands up with your hands facing each other, and close your eyes again. And feel the energy between the hands connect. So I move my hands very slowly up and down or a small circle, but your fingers aren't touching. They're about a foot, eight inches away. And it almost feels like two opposite ends of a magnet facing each other. You know how that feels? They kind of force each other. And uh, this never gets old to me when I feel this. And the more and more you do this, the stronger it does get. You can go back and forth like an accordion. You feel that vibration just like that. And again, as you breathe in your nose and out your mouth the entire time. When I breathe in, I feel it dim a little bit. When I breathe out, I get stronger out of my palms each time. And now open your eyes and watch here. And I want you to pretend that you are massaging this big bowling ball. We call this massaging the pearl. And again, don't let your hands touch because I want the energy to be as free flowing as possible. And just move your hands around here. Because what's happening is we have these star constellations throughout our body called meridians. And we have a bunch on our wrists that go through our arms and down the sides of our body. But by just doing this movement with the energy is electrically activating those pulses that are actually detoxing and moving the energy within our organs as well. We have the spleen, the large intestine, pericardium. We have the lungs. So at the same time, we look like we're making a crystal ball, which is fun. But just this movement of making that chi ball, as we call it, helps the same way activating that electrical pulse in our body. It's called massaging the pearl. Sometimes I just go back and forth like this, especially on the wrists. A lot of Kung Fu has these motions that also help activate our muscles and our health and stimulating it, as well as has martial purposes as well. And you bring us back facing each other like this and see how I make little circles and close your eyes. And get your hands to connect. And keep your eyes closed, but I want you to extend your arms forward, still facing each other. And slowly let one hand go down and one hand go up. We do vertical pulling of the chi. Very slowly, like your two arms are scissors. And slowly switch them as one goes down. And feel the difference when your hands pass each other what you feel between the arms. I'm gonna do this eight times. Here's the second. You feel a little stronger, the vibrations of the energy between the hands. Three, it's really cool, I love it, that feeling. Every time I feel it just validates, it's just so much more to us than we realize, that we understand. And energy is a very real thing. People say it all the time, oh, that's bad energy, oh, that's good energy, but Energy can be felt, but not only can it be felt, it can be man, uh, manifested, it can be created. No, not created, not created, but it be cultivated. That's a better word. Just two more times. And again, with your eyes closed, we feel it more because our senses aren't trying to interfere with understanding what's happening. And after the eighth time, get your hands to face each other and connect again, eyes closed, breathing in your nose. And out your mouth. We can turn the palms facing upwards. I'm going to move one up like a slinky. And you might feel a little more pressure in the opposite hand as we transfer the chi. And we're going to go back and forth just like this. And again, eyes closed. And uh, <laughs> chi slinky, just like that. Going back and forth. And again, we're working the meridians in the arms and the shoulders that activate the ones that go down the side of the body, the side of the legs, like the gallbladder and the spleen and the stomach. It's amazing just doing these motions. There is science behind what we're doing. It's not hocus pocus. It's not Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you know, there is a science behind it that's been around for many, many years. People call this alternative medicine, but in reality, this was original medicine, wasn't it? And they didn't do too badly. You have these, especially in China, the old Chinese that made it to the hundreds. And <laughs> actually, the most, the oldest documented being documented was 253 years old. You can look it up. You don't have to believe me. 
Yeah. And then bring your hands back to the front of each other like before. Get the hands to connect. We always can come back to this. I take three breaths. Three is my favorite number. One of them. <laughs> And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn the hands to the side, facing forward like this. And we're going to push one forward. And again, you might feel pressure on the other hand as we transfer the chi from one to the other. Going back and forth. And again, working the meridians differently, the yin and yang. Yin and yang is the energy that balances the body. They intertwine. And you have one within the other. But you can never separate that energy in the body. If you do, that's when the body dies. Or if yang completely takes over yin or yin completely takes over yang, that's important. We'll talk a little bit about yin and yang when we talk about the five elements. Just like that. And again, with the eyes closed, you have a little more of that sense and feel of what's going on. <laughs> and we're going to bring the hands back, shoulder width. Connect the hands. You'll hear me chuckle sometimes because after so many years, I still, uh, you know, it's like, wow, there's something going on here. It's really fun. When I first started learning this, I would, you know, hold back these chuckles because it was amazing. We'd, we'd like peek like this, like, what's going on? And it's really fun because it just shows there's so much more to us in this world that some of us don't even understand. So now what I want you to do is put your right hand over the left. Your right over left. I'm doing that same, so I'll be opposite of you. And go clockwise, just over the palm. And again, you'll feel that energy swirl just like this and strengthen it. And I want you to take your middle finger and point it down and move it around your hand. And you'll feel like a little laser beam of air or something moving around. It's so funny because as I'm doing it, my vein's moving. That's really cool. But you might feel that. It's called point theory. This is how I do Qigong therapy. I don't need the needle. I can simply be as precise as I can be on the point and move the energy. So right now, write your name in your hand. You can do it with your eyes closed or not. I'm writing my name here now. It's really cool. And then after you're done writing your name, write your social security number. Nah, just kidding. And slowly move it using your middle finger. Let it go up each finger. I mean, you can literally move it in through each meridian. That's how we pull energy out from the body. Uh, little things like right now I'm on the pericardium line. If I press the top of the middle finger, it's great for anxiety attacks, even asthma attacks, although the side of the thumb is lung one, which helps with um, opening up the airways. But if something's a physical injury in my shoulder, let's say, I can literally pull it out of the lung channel, down my arm, out through the thumb. You know, that's how things work. Or a headache. We press large intestine four on top between the meaty part of the thumb and the forefinger. And we pull it out from the head down, the arm on top, out through that channel. You can even move it slowly up your hand and feel what's going on here. You feel that little trickling of electricity or numbness or heat. And again, the more you do this, the more beating the energy is, the more you understand it. That you feel it more and more and it gets stronger. And bring his back in front of each other. Get them connect. Breathing in your nose and out your mouth. And I want you to round your arms big like you're holding a beach ball against your chest, just like this. And we're going to pivot on the right foot, on the ball of the foot, and just turn to the right like this. And then pivot back, face in the middle. And go slow and pivot to the left, like a cat stance, a tiger stance, whatever you call it. <laughs> and back to the middle. We do that about eight times. And you'll feel the energy in the arms. It might get heavy. If you have to lower it, that's fine. Just hold the energy. And these slow movement exercises also open up the ligaments and the tendons and the muscles without being abrasive in any which way. It allows the energy to move properly. When we're twisting like this, the gallbladder and the liver is also getting worked. So it releases toxins and energy that we don't need, all chi. Very nice, as we turn. Very nice. 
There's two more. You can go even slower pace than this. back in the center and I want you to drop the hands down like this. I want you to take your right arm and kind of move it in a circle like this, like you're saying hello. And I'll take your left hand and do the same thing. I want you to get the motion right first. So you're making circles outward, slow knife hands almost, but no tension in the hands. And just turn your body also. I always start singing the sound of music, so long, farewell. <laughs> And we're going to turn just like this. Circling palms is very common in many Qigong sets because it's so powerful. When done properly, every meridian is activated on the body. So what I want you to do is now shift your body all the way back. And as you turn, turn your body and then shift back like this. So you're going to shift and turn. This is where I'm going to lose some people, and that's fine. Because intentions are more important than method. Remember that. So shift, turn, shift, turn. And doing this really slow also builds coordination. A lot of people, as they get older, they feel like, I'm too old to get coordinated. And I know a lot of adults who start martial arts who think they're too old to do it, or they'll never get coordinated. And that's chi. Those are thoughts, the stories in their minds. But things like this build that more and more while also making you healthier. That's amazing to me. Qigong was also done in the martial art days uh, as hidden martial art movements. You can see many in just this one alone. One of my Qigong mentors did this every day for hours. I don't know how he had all that time, but he did. And he got very ill and had to go to uh, the hospital. And... <laughs> The doctor's like, it's amazing. It's like the organs knew what we needed. They moved this out of the way. And of course, in his, uh, in his wisdom, words of wisdom, he goes, yeah, I told him to do that. And he really meant it. So you can imagine the doctor's thought, psych. But uh, the body is very obedient when the chi is working with you. So I want everyone to kind of lean. I'll mirror you this time. I want you to lean to your right. It's my left, your right. We call this the path. And we want to pull the things that we don't like about the past. And we pull it in as you shift your body in. And it, we, so we can't shift back. And I want to turn and release it. <sighs> and we take the presence, the gifts, the lessons from that past. And we pull that in. And we shift all our way back. And we send it into our future. <sighs> take from the past that we don't like. Release it. Take the gifts and its lessons and send it forth. Taken from the past, release. Take its gifts, send forth. Take the past, release. Take its gifts, send forth. Take from the past, Release. Take his gifts. Send forth. One more time. Take from the past. Release it. Take his gifts. Send forward. Bring your leg shoulder width again. Take your palms and slowly bring them up to the sides. Breathing in. And we're going to go down the center, closing the physical center of the body. Breathing in again. Second time, we can close the mental and emotional centers of the body. Breathing in again. Closing the spiritual centers of the body. And as we come down to the center, bring our feet together. Hands in front of the lower dantian, men right over left, women left over right. Taking those same three breaths from the beginning. Breath number one. Breath number two, belly out. Breath number three. And relax.
relax, open your eyes. Shake you out your hands a little bit, rub them together. And deep breath in. And we say, Woosah. 